Hey, let's get a short little video out there before our Game 6 stream of the Stanley Cup Finals, talking about what was probably the biggest piece of discussion today. But at the end of the day, this really doesn't mean too much, to be honest. This is what Bob McKenzie tweeted out that kind of got the hockey world stirred up. Take a look at this. It's the first tweet in a series of many. Imagine my surprise when I was making calls today and heard Jack Eichel trade rumors, including unverified chatter he may have at some point recently requested a trade out of Buffalo and that the Rangers were among interested teams. This, of course, required further investigation. This tweet blew up, and everybody was like, oh my goodness, the Rangers? Eichel? No way. Take a look at what Eichel's agent, Peter Fish, said. I hear that trade talk a lot. Jack wants to win, he is frustrated not winning, but no, he does not want out. Jack is preparing to head the Buffalo at some point and prepare for the season, whenever that may be. That's all he controls. The messaging out of Buffalo is the Sabres are not shopping Eichel. There's no real desire to trade him, but since Kevin Adams became the new GM, several clubs have called about his availability. New York is believed to being one of the teams that called, so calls were made and calls were taken. He also says that none of those talks with any of the other teams actually resulted in trade traction. But it's also believed that there has been dialogue between Eichel and Buffalo to ensure they both want the same thing to get better and to share the same timetable sooner rather than later. So the big tweet at the end kind of wraps up this whole saga, so the face value review appears as follows. Eichel doesn't want out of Buffalo. Buffalo does not want to trade Eichel, and we will move along. There's nothing to see here. But some rumors are worth checking out and mentioning, which we have done. Now back to draft prep. So Bob McKenzie pretty much just trolled the entire NHL fanbase world because, hey, he said at the beginning, New York might be calling about Eichel and he might have requested a trade out of Buffalo. So I did research and apparently it's not true that he is not requesting a trade and that the Sabres are not shopping him. We actually have another tweet over here from a guy named Ty Anderson. He's a writer for the Sports Hub on 98.5. This is WBZFM in Boston. He had a tweet where he replied to Bob McKenzie's tweet saying this. For what it's worth, I was told the Bruins were among teams in communication with Buffalo about Eichel. No clue how they'd possibly pull it off, but hey, let's get fun and weird. This tweet started a whole bunch of other discussions as to whether or not the Boston Bruins could put together a package that everybody would agree upon would be worth it for Eichel, and combined with the other talks we had about the Rangers, where Rangers fans were already talking about that too, we have ourselves what is a very, very, very big just conundrum of ideas being thrown around here. But at the end of the day, Bob McKenzie said it at the end. The Eichel thing doesn't really appear to be all too real in this moment. The Sabres want to keep him. He wants to stay. So, even though other teams may be calling about him, it doesn't really mean that a trade is on the horizon. He said it himself. Trade traction has not really been picked up nor solidified. But we'll leave that off here in this video. Check out our stream on Game 6 coming up in about half an hour from this time's upload. Hope you enjoyed this video. Share that with and I and I comment down below what you think about Eichel, the Rangers, and the Bruins. And... Bye.